Okay, this is on me. I'm just going to do a quick uh, problem showing how to calculate quantum in a box energy. Uh, if you remember the energy uh, of oops, of a quantum in a box is just equal to h n squared, a squared n squared over 8 m l squared. If you remember in class, what I told you is that actually it's better if you multiply both sides by c squared, and so then you get a c squared n squared, and you get an 8 m l squared, uh, sorry, an 8 m c squared l squared. Um, now what we're going to assume is we're going to say, let's say we're um, in, uh, where let's say we have an electron in a five nanometer box. So that's L equals to five nanometers. Um, so then it's pretty straightforward to do this calculation. Uh, um, HC squared again is just 1240 nanometers, uh, EV nanometers. squared. Um, uh, let's just keep n as n for right now. n squared. Now we're going to divide this by 8. mc squared for an electron, you can look it up in your book, but it's just 5.1 times 10 to the fifth electron volts. Uh, it's 5.11, right? Let's make sure I got this right. Yep. All right. Um, uh, and then there's the L squared, so it's just uh, 5 nanometers squared. And you notice I'm keeping things in nanometers and EV because I've got an EV squared there, a nanometer squared. I'm going to get an EV uh, here and a nanometer squared here, which leaves one EV, which is going to be the units of the energy. Um, so if I plug that all in to my calculator, which of course I smartly got ready ahead of time, um, uh, we just get uh, 1240 squared divided by 8 divided by 5.1 e to the fifth um, divided by 5 squared. And we just get something like um, 0 0.015 n squared in electron volts. Um, and so for your, let's say, E1, so where n is equal to 1, you're just going to get 0 0.015 EV. Uh, for E2, uh, you just put in N equals 2. So you get 0 0.015 EV times um, 2 squared. Um, and that will just give us 0 0.06 EV. Um, so that's really how you do it. Um, there's not much more to it. Uh, so hope that helps.